basic setup of a Ford analyzer, receiving logs from FortiGates. Ford Analyzer's default IP on port 1 is 192.168.1.99. Connect the cable directly from your management machine to Ford Analyzer port 1. Now we'll change our IP on the Windows machine to be able to access the 192.168.1 subnet. Now we'll connect to our Ford Analyzer at 192.168.1.99. If your login screen doesn't look like this, you're probably running an older version of Ford Analyzer. You can pause and click below to view our upgrade tutorial. Username is admin, and by default there is no password. The first thing to do is to change the admin password. Select the username from the top right hand corner and select change password. Enter the new password. OK. For more advanced options and creating more admin users, there is the administrators area here in system settings. Next, let's have a look at the RAID storage settings here in RAID management. By default, the Forda Analyzer 300D is set to RAID 1. Clicking Change will bring up the RAID level dropdown. These levels vary by model of Forda Analyzer, as will the build times. We'll just leave that as is. Now let's change the IP address of our new Forda Analyzer for one we added to our production network. And apply. We will now lose connectivity to the Forda Analyzer and the next time we access it, it will be on the new address we specified here. On our main network, we have a FortiGate 92D. Let's connect it to port 1 on the Forta Analyzer from any switch interface port. Now let's access the FortiGate from a management computer and set it to send its logs to the Forta Analyzer. Login Reports Log Settings since we have more resources on our Forda Analyzer than this FortiGate, let's disable local reporting on the 92D so we don't use up resources unnecessarily. Enter the IP of the Forda Analyzer, and we'll select real time so we can show some example data sooner. When using test connectivity, the FortiGate may still show Forda Analyzer as unreachable, here before we authorize this device for communication on the Forda Analyzer. Once authorized, this area will show statistics on sent logs. And apply. By default, new policies have logging enabled. In Policy and Objects, IPv4, and our policy here, we can see the logging settings at the bottom. This is just something to keep in mind in case you had previously disabled them and you're not seeing certain logs on your Forda Analyzer. Now let's connect to our Forda Analyzer again on its new IP. And enter our new password. In the top right you can see a notification with one new device. Clicking this is a shortcut to the Device Manager's Unregistered Devices tab. Here's our FortiGate 92D and you can add one or more FortiGates by clicking the checkbox at the top of the column and select Add. Here we can label our FortiGate. Make sure there are no spaces in the name. Now let's have a look at some statistics on the data received from our FortiGate. Open the tray at the top left, and we'll use FortiView. Here are our graphs showing activity over the last hour. These graphs are interactive. Clicking on them will take you deeper into a given event, like this threat. And you can display more details like so. Let's switch to the log view. And we'll choose web filter. You can right-click on a category like instant messaging here and choose to see more of this category, like so. Once you've added all the filters you like, just press go. Now we'll set up a basic scheduled report.
We'll choose Threat Report. Settings. Enable Schedule. And I'll set it for outside of work hours. Friday at 6 p.m. You can have a lot of control over scheduling and the display of the reports here in Filters and Advanced Settings as well. Apply. And we'll run the report. Your report is available in a variety of different formats. I'll choose HTML. And here's the threat report. Now that logs are being transmitted to the photo analyzer, let's go back to the log settings on the Ford gate. Here we see that test connectivity shows the connection summary with sent log statistics. This concludes our basic setup and basic example case. Thank you for watching, and for more technical videos, visit video.fortinet.com.